Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on dividing monomials. So the first two pages you're going to follow along with me and take some notes. And then you'll have a chance to try some problems on your own and then finally see how you did. So let's take a look at, we have five problems on this page. And the first one is 15 divided by 25. And I want to show you how we use factors to reduce this. So 15 we know is 5 times 3. And we know that 25 is 5 times 5. And we're allowed to reduce the common factors. So if I cross off a 5 and a 5, look what remains. It's 3 fifths. And if, if you reduce 15 20 fifths, you get 3 fifths. So when you cancel out common factors, you get the redu reduced version of the fraction. Now here we have y to the fifth over y squared. So there's a couple key parts about this. So y to the fifth, remember, means y times y times y times y times y. And then y squared means y times y. And remember, every one of these y's is a factor. So just like we could cross off the 5 over here, well, here we can cross off the y. So here's one set of common y's and then another set. So what's left over is y times y times y, which is y cubed. So a key rule is this. When you're dividing monomials with exponents and the bases are the same, which in this case is the, is the y's, you subtract the powers. So 5 take away 2, that gives us the 3. So here we have um, x to the 8th, y to the 10th, divided by x to the 4th, y to the 5th. So let's first focus on the exponents with the x's as bases. So x to the 8th um, divided by x to the 4th, well, again, we subtract the, the powers. So 8 take away 4 is going to be 4. So that's going to be x to the 4th. And then y to the 10th divided by y to the 5th, we subtract the powers again. So that's going to be y to the, the fifth. Now down here we want to try to find the missing factor. So the question is, um, to get 8x to the fourth, you have to do 2x times what? And what you can do is you can treat this like an equation where it's 2x times an unknown, right? So I'll put a question mark there. So I can actually divide both sides by 2x. And when I do that, well these will cancel out. But 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then x to the 4th divided by x, which really has a, a power of a 1, would be x to the 3rd. The now over here we have 20x cubed y to the 6th equals 4xy cubed times the unknown. So again, put a question mark there. And I'm going to divide both sides by 4xy cubed and divide by 4xy cubed. And we end, up, we end up with 20 divided by 4 is 5. x cubed divided by x is x squared. y to the 6th divided by y to the 3rd is y cubed. And there's our missing factor. All right, let's turn the page and take a look at the second page of notes. And in this case, we want to find the greatest common factor of two monomials. So here we have uh, 80x to the 5th, y to the 4th, and 120x to the 6th, y squared. Now I want to find the greatest common factor of both of these. So what I've done is I've given you kind of a three-step process to follow. So number one, it says, find the greatest common factor of the numeral coefficients. So here we have 80 and 120, and this one's kind of easy to do. We know that 40 is going to be the greatest common factor. So I'm going to write 40 right here. So that's part one. Part two says find the smaller power of each variable that is a factor in both monomials. So here we have an x to the fifth and an x to the sixth. So the x to the fifth it has a smaller power, right? So I'm going to take out the x to the fifth. But we also have the y's, right? We have a y to the fourth and a y squared. And again, we're going to take out the one that has the smallest power. So we're going to take out the 2. So it's going to be y squared. Now, finally, it says find the product of the GCF of the coefficients and the smaller power of each variable that is a factor of both monomials. So all you do now is you multiply 40 times x to the fifth y squared and you end up with 40 x to the fifth 
y squared. And that is the GCF of 80x to the fifth y to the fourth and 120x to the sixth y squared. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first problem we wanted to simplify 24 thirtieths. So I'm gonna break apart 24 into the prime factorization, which is gonna be uh, two times two is four. And then I wanna get a six, so it's gonna be times a two and a three. So two times two times two is a eight times three is 24. And then 30 is um, six times five. So that's two times three times five. Now I'm going to reduce the common factors, so it's going to be a 2 and a 2. I can cross out a 3 and a 3, and we end up with 2 times 2 is 4, and a 5, so this is going to be 4 fifths. All right, the next one we want to reduce 16x to the 7th over 8x to the 4th. I know 16 divided by 8 is 2, and x to the 7th divided by x to the 4th, remember when you have monomials that have um, common bases, you subtract the exponents. So that's going to be x to the third. This one, uh, 55 divided by 22, I can rewrite that as 5 halves. And then x to the third divided by x squared, I put the x on top, there's one left over. And then y to the fifth divided by y cubed. When I subtract the powers, I'll just be a y squared. The next one, you want to find the greatest common factor of the monomials. So again, I'm going to follow the three-step process. So step one is find the GCF of the coefficients. So the GCF of 42 and 28 is going to be 14. And now I'm going to look at the monomials that have the same bases. So we have x to the 10th and x to the 6th. And remember, we take the one that has the smallest power. So we're going to include the x to the 6th. And now we have y to the 6th and y to the 8th. So we're going to take a y to the 6th. So 14 times x to the 6th times y to the 6th. That is the GCF. All right, last but not least, we want to find the missing factor. So 44z to the 8 equals 4z cubed. And again, if I divide 44z to the 8 by 4z cubed, I'm going to get 11. And then z to the 8 divided by z cubed is going to be z to the 5th power. Here I'm going to divide um, the 100x cubed y to the 7th by 20x squared y to the 4th. So 100 divided by 20 is 5. x cubed divided by x squared gives us just an x and then y to the seventh divided by y to the fourth is y cubed and there it is all right how'd you do